For those that don't know, LRO is the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. It's a NASA spacecraft that's been orbiting the moon since uh, June of 2009, taking high resolution pictures of the surface, measuring the pre precise topography of the lunar surface, thermophysical properties of the surface, the radiation environment, the abundance of hydrogen on the surface, basically creating a high resolution 3D archive of the properties of the surface of the moon. An eclipse is a, is a unique event. It happens a few times every year. Uh, it's when the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun are in precise alignment. So during a lunar eclipse, the Earth passes between the Moon and the Sun, and the Earth's shadow is cast upon the surface of the Moon. So it looks like the Moon disappears into darkness for a brief period of time. They're special because they only happen a few times every year, and you have to be in a very special location on the surface of the Earth to be able to see it. So not everybody gets to see an eclipse when they happen. So on April 15th, there's going to be a lunar eclipse. Um, it's going to happen very early in the morning, and it's going to be a total lunar eclipse, so the moon will pass completely into the shadow of the Earth. Um, and as it does that, the, the moon will appear a certain hue of red, which is the projection of all of the sunsets on the Earth projected onto the surface of the moon. It's going to be quite spectacular and very beautiful. What we see in this animation is a recreation of LRO orbiting the moon during the upcoming eclipse. When the moon passes into the Earth's umbra, or the Earth's shadow, uh, that's when it is completely blocked from the sun, and we see the effect of Earth's sunsets being projected onto the lunar surface. That's why it turns a hue of red. When the moon comes out of the Earth's umbra, it begins to look, as we've always seen it, this beautiful, bright, uh, gray uh, orb in the sky. So the eclipse is going to affect LRO in one very important way. Uh, LRO's batteries are charged by solar energy, and so during an eclipse, the moon and the LRO spacecraft are going to be in darkness for a very long period of time, so the battery won't get to be charged. So we're going to be turning off all of the instruments on LRO so we don't drain the battery. Uh, we'll be monitoring real time how the battery is doing uh, during the eclipse, but we won't be making any scientific observations during this eclipse. When the spacecraft comes out of the eclipse, the battery will slowly charge back up again, and then we can turn the instruments back on. Well, the best way to prepare for this eclipse is to first find out when it's going to be happening in your local area, and then um, find an area that is uh, free of obstructions, tall trees, buildings, in an open field that has a clear view of the sky. Uh, bring a chair, something warm to keep you uh, comfy during the, the, the night hours, and prepare yourself for a beautiful show.